Let's see a great drop Seo counter attack. Haruka Funakubo reaches across, grabs her opponent's bottom lapel while off balancing her with a belt grip and stepping around. She's now reaching through with her right arm to grip Clint Kate's belt. Notice how she's basing off her own head and Clint Kate cannot turn to the left because of the power of these belt grips. Funakubo also likes to use a leg hook here. It helps minimize the opponent's movements. But even without the hook, I don't think there's any escape from that position. Now let's look at the legendary Kaori Matsumoto and her Matsumoto turnover. Many people think this is just a head and arm turn, but it's not, as we'll see when we get to the final turn. So she steps around puts her head to the floor as she walks around pulling her opponent over. Her opponent can't turn in towards her because she's positioned her body underneath her opponent's neck and shoulder. Now let's look at this grip. She's gripping the sleeve of her opponent and she's also using a grip of her opponent's wrist. It is not a head and arm headlock as many believe it to be. Next, I'm going to have a look at a match featuring Miku Toshiro, who's the number three seed in the Olympics. So she's going to hit a Kosoto Gari here. And she starts off with arm control. She's got her opponent's arm twisted behind the back. But as her opponent moves into an athletic base she tries to switch to an Ude Gurami or Kimura control and the referee puts them back on their feet. So this match has a few exciting Newaza exchanges and I'm going to show you all of them. So I think there's going to be another Kosoto Gari coming up here. There it is. So she's forcing the arm back as she uses the Kosodogari, but she's willing to switch and attack the other arm if needed. This time the referee restarted them and we'll get into the final sequence here. It's an Uchimata. This one's quite a long sequence so she's isolated that arm again. She's looking to turn her opponent for the pin but the opponent's bellied down leaving the arm behind. There's a chance to go for a Kimura. I've got a match on my channel where she finishes with an arm lock from this position. As she turns again looking to establish the pin but the opponent rolls out. Now, this is similar to the previous positions. She's reached across, got control of her opponent's gi and she's stepping around, basing on her head. Now her opponent's trying hard to escape you can see how she's unable to flip herself over towards her left shoulder because of the way Toshiro is positioned. And because of the positioning of Toshiro's left arm, she's unable to escape towards her right side. So as I said earlier, Miku Toshiro is the number three seed in today's Olympics. The number two seed is Tina from Slovenia. They have met 10 times in the past and Miku Toshiro has defeated her all 10 times in a variety of ways with throws and with Newaza. So my expectation is that we'll see a Clarice Toshiro final today with Clarice winning. I was wrong yesterday. Yesterday I was expecting a Yoshida Klimkate final and Yoshida and Klimkate both walked away with bronze medals. I hope you enjoy today's games. I'm really looking forward to it as Miku Toshiro is one of my favorites. I'm going to have more on Miku Toshiro in the future. If she wins gold, I'll probably do a video looking at the way she sets up the Kimura or Udegarami grips from standing positions. There are a lot of other interesting aspects of her Newaza game that I want to focus on in the future of this channel, so do subscribe if you're interested in that.